I recognize Councillor Kennedy for prayer and pledge today. I'd just like to take a moment of silence for the victims of violence all over the world going on right now in the Ukraine and other places. Pledge allegiance to the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, justice for all. Okay, I recognize Councilor Jubinville for a motion to record advice and consent for the financial warrant. So ordered. So, so asked. Sorry. Second. So ordered, so asked, and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. And I recognize Councilor Ferreira for a motion to record advice and consent for the pending list of notaries, public and justices of the peace. So moved, Governor. So moved. All in favor say aye. Aye. And I recognize Councillor Hurley for a motion to record advice and consent for the appointment of Janine M. Simonian to the position of Associate Justice of the District Court. So moved. It was a great appointment. Um, she's the first district attorney that's, I think, been before this council, from my area at least, who had six defense attorneys call me on her behalf, urging that she be appointed. Second. Okay, there is a motion and a second. I know Councillor uh, Devaney is not present because she is at a service for a family member who passed. And in her absence, I'm reading a statement that she'd like me to present and have added to the record today. Due to a death in the family, I will be unable to attend the public assembly today. My late husband's brother, James Jim Devaney, died of COVID, and his funeral is today, Wednesday, at Cape Cod. It is devastating to my children and me to lose three of our family to COVID. Although this is a difficult time, I felt an obligation to express my strong support for Janine Simonian, who has been appointed by a as a judge in the district court. I met with Janine and attended her hearing. I know the council will vote for this outstanding nominee. I am so impressed with Janine Simonian. I want the public to know how strongly I support her. She right, rightfully deserves to be a judge. She has earned it the old fashioned way by being highly qualified and experienced. She brings her work and compassion of being a former social worker and her vast criminal experience work and cases to the bench. I thank you and the governor for the nomination. With my sincere regards, Councillor Marilyn Petito Devaney. So that will now be presented to the record. Thank you. Okay, there is a motion, a second. We may begin the roll call. Councillor Hurley? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. We have two nominations today. Jason Yu Ting Chan has been nominated to the position of Associate Justice of the District Court. That's in your district, Council of Juvenile. Put it on on the 13th at 3 o'clock. 13th at 3. Explain later, Mary. We had a conversation with him. I just didn't hear. Okay. Very good. July 13th. Paul A. Colby Longton has been nominated to the position of Associate Justice of the District Court. This is in Council of DePaulo's district, and he will be in touch with Attorney Longton to determine a time for the hearing. So we have for today. I know we are embark on a long holiday weekend and fourth of july being a beautiful time hopefully for you to be able to join family and friends and enjoy each other and the nation's birthday celebration so thank you very much for your hard work over these summer weeks and enjoy a nice long weekend thank you. nice holiday Kelvin.